Otherwise, the glorious Quran says in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 110, Kulidullah Abidur Rahman, I am Atadu, Palol Asmal Husna. Say, call upon him by Allah or by Rahman. By whichever name you call upon him, to him belongs the most beautiful name. You can call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by any name, but it should be a beautiful name. It should not conjure up a mental picture. And there are no less than 99 attributes given in the glorious Quran for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, most merciful, most beneficent. No less than 99. We Muslims, we call Almighty God by the Arabic name Allah. And the reason we prefer calling Almighty God by the Arabic name Allah instead of the English word God is because the English word God, you can play mischief with that word. For example, if you add S to God, it becomes God's plural of God. There is no plural of Allah. Qul huallahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. If you add D-E-S-S to God, it becomes goddess. That means a female God. There is no gender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is neither male, neither female. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. Allah is a unique word. If you add a father to God, it becomes Godfather. He's my Godfather. He's my guardian. There's nothing like Allah Father or Allah by in Islam. If you add a mother to God, it becomes Godmother. There's nothing like Allah Mother or Allah mean Islam. Allah is a unique word. If you prefix tin before God, it becomes tin God, meaning fake God. There's nothing like tin Allah in Islam. That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the Arabic word Allah instead of the English word God. But if some people, some Muslims, use the word God for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that those who don't know the concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they can understand, I've got no objection. But the appropriate word is Allah. It's much more preferred than the English word God.